Okay, so we're walking out here to the field. We actually got a delivery coming this morning. Super exciting. Um, we are getting a second milk cow. Her name is Angie. She's pregnant. She's due in November. Um, it's just going to be an awesome addition to our homestead and our ability to have milk and uh, provide for our needs and then some of those that are close to us uh, that get to also share in, in that. So we're going to walk out here and meet her. I'm still drinking my coffee, so. Come on, Katie, you want me to carry you? Okay, so we're going to go say hi to Angie. Hi, Angie. Let me turn this thing around so you guys see her. There she is. Hi, Angie. What's up, Mama? Hi. She is blind in one eye, but this couple's had her for a long time. She's been a great, great cow for them, so we're looking forward to having her here with us. Okay, so I'm back in the house working. Uh, this is the next day. Yesterday, um, I introduced you guys to our new dairy cow, Angie. Um, she seems to be doing fairly well so far, and so we'll keep you up to date on how that's going. But I got all excited and a little bit ahead of myself. Thought I was all done in the house with everything, but um, ended up getting our uh, propane heater and we didn't really look at it, but the clearances we're gonna need is not going to work with where we had initially planned on putting it, which is right up there in that wall. I guess there needs to be 36 inches of clearance from the top of the heater to the ceiling. That is definitely not 36 inches. So what I'm gonna have to do is rework that whole gas line back inside of behind this wall as a closet had to work it back down underneath the house and then move it over here on this wall where our uh, wood burning heater, which is in that box, is going to our wood burning stove. It's gonna be, um, so I'm gonna try to work on that. Another thing, um, we're hanging fans in all of the bedrooms and the boxes that they have up there are not rated for ceiling fans, so I'm gonna have to go through and do like I did with this one. Um, I just pretty much cut that strip of sheetrock out and then I put in a uh, brace, braced box for a fan. They're actually rated for fan weights and support. Um, I have one in here I'm getting ready to do so I'll uh, speed this up and bring you guys along with me. Um, it was kind of discouraging. <laughs> To be honest, uh, to feel like I was further ahead than I was and then reality check, oh no, now I gotta uh, rework some of this stuff. So I'm just picking up the pieces of the day and this is what I'm gonna be putting up. And I'm gonna put it right where that light fixture is. You see, I got the lines marked out. Um, that's running with the studs. Um, and so I'm gonna cut, I guess not running with the studs, it's running from stud to stud. I'm gonna cut that open. Uh, that box there is actually gonna get turned into a junction box. I'm just gonna put a cap on it. I'm gonna run some wire out of that to this new box. And then that will be up in there kind of like that uh, in between the studs. And then that will be our fan support box. So I got one done in the other bedroom. Uh, I'll get this one done and then I will have one more uh, bedroom to do. And then the ceiling fan that's in the living room. I mean, I might just see, like I'll keep one of those boxes and some sheetrock, depending on how far along we get with finishing the house. Um, but I might just see if that holds uh, the fan that we have and supports it. Um, it may end up just getting replaced anyways. I don't really know. But uh, for today, that's what I'm gonna be trying to work on. Um, and we'll see what I can get done. So we'll catch up with you guys when I get to a stopping point.
So if you guys didn't catch what I did, um, I pretty much did everything I said I was going to in that last video. Um, got the, the bracing up in there for the fan, reconnected the wiring. Um, I pushed up the, the old electrical box inside the ceiling that's now a junction box so if i ever need to for whatever reason get in there and jump something else off into the room i can um and now that area is supported for a ceiling fan so um right now i got one more room to do but i don't think i'm going to do that today because it's our um one of the kids' rooms slash, right now, tool storage. I mean, every room could be considered storage right now, but we got this piece of plywood with all the tools that we've been using over the last eight months or so to remodel this house. So that'll be the last one that I actually do. Um, I've done the same thing in this hallway. We're going to have a small light fixture that has like a little fan in there. I did this bedroom today, um, and I'm going to see about this fan in here. I mean, this one, it's got a little bit of a wobble if you watch it, but it's not too bad. Um, I may just end up going ahead and doing that one too, but what I'm going to try to do today, and I'll try to bring you guys along with me, because um, this part's going to suck. <laughs> Honestly, from the beginning of this house, um, one of the things that I've disliked the most about it is having to get underneath the house in the crawl space. The, the vapor barrier portion of it was a challenge. It uh, honestly stressed me out. I didn't enjoy it. I was ready to get done with it. And there's probably a little bit left that I didn't end up finishing and doing. I mean, most of it is um, good enough to not let moisture up and into the house. But there's not new stuff down there. So there is some old right by this front door underneath the floor here in that area of the house um, that I'll get up underneath there and do one of these days. It's not going to be today. But what I'm going to try to do is so you guys see this gas outlet right there. Well, that runs up into that attic space down into this closet. And so it comes down the ceiling there. There's a connection where I ran out of line. And then it just goes down through the floor underneath the, the house. So I'm going to crawl underneath there. After I disconnect this portion up here, I'm going to take that whole thing off. Tape the end of it up so I'm not getting anything in my gas line. Make sure I can pull the line through this closet. And then I'm going to get underneath there. I'm going to... Pull it down, and then I'm gonna try to find a spot somewhere in this floor where all my coffee bean buckets are to push it back up, and then I will um, seat that gas valve there or that connection, that floor connection over here where it's going to end up going. And then honestly, like with our sheetrock situation, that's one of the last places we need the sheetrock that has a wall that we're going to build a couple of different walls i think delana is going to end up helping out on some of that but uh, there's going to be a small closet here beside the washer and dryer so we need a wall to come up like right there and then uh we'll sheetrock that and then back in this bedroom that I did the first light or the fan support in today. The um, there's some water access that we're going to have to box out. So that's for the tub, for the kids, or the main bathroom. And we just really got to come out probably about six inches from that stuff, build a wall, and then sheetrock it off. So, um, I think I'm going to do the stuff that I don't really want to do. Like, honestly, when I found out that this gas line wasn't going to work uh, today, I was I was ready to not work. <laughs> I, I was just like, oh, really? I just got done with that. And it's been kind of a circus getting the parts because sometimes you go to these uh, 
parts store, like I went to Home Depot, got the part that I needed, and it was missing a brass seating ring on that gas valve. And so I had to wait, go back, get that part, and then turn it, or then uh, put it on. And then once I put it on, I realized, nope, that's not gonna work because we gotta move where that gas line's gonna be. So I'm gonna try to get all that stuff taken apart without damaging it. Hopefully I won't have to go back and purchase any more stuff because um, I don't really want to. But uh, I'm gonna try to get this portion done and I'll have you guys crawl with me down there if I can and uh, see what I can actually film that'll actually come out. So it'll be fun. At least be fun for you guys watching. It won't be fun for me. I won't be enjoying myself at all, but I'll bring you guys along anyways. Okay, so Delane is in here with me. Um, she's gonna help me. I'm gonna crawl underneath the house. She's gonna help me push the line down. I'm gonna try to get it over and we're gonna get it up the wall there behind that wood burning. So we were gonna put the wood burning stove on this wall here, like as you walk in the door, be like right there centered, but we're gonna end up moving it here onto this wall in between the kitchen and living space we just feel like that's where it's going to function best for us and then the piping and all that stuff is going to be i think easier for us to uh get ran so i'm gonna go into the house i don't know if it's gonna work but i'm gonna try to take you guys with me so we'll see all right so i'm underneath the deck now of the front porch and you guys can see why this is not fun so we got this opening here. It's gonna get covered up with this white siding eventually, but just haven't needed to. Okay. Oh, lovely, a little bit of poison ivy. So I'm gonna try to steer clear of that. I'm gonna have to belly crawl, so I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's just flip it and see. Try to get some lights on. Hey, look, got some light. So we got about two cinder blocks worth of height down here. Um, I'm gonna keep belly crawling. Sorry about the camera angles. Uh. It's always nice to have cobwebs all over your head. Okay. So I found the line that we pushed through. It goes to the black pipe way over there, but I'm gonna have Delena push it down to me, so just hang tight. All right. Okay, so we got that done. Now what I'm gonna do is I brought down this, this tape 
that goes with the correct uh, vapor barrier that we ended up buying. This is actually some of the Tyvek, but it's gonna work. We're, I'm just gonna tape this up real quick. This tape actually works uh, very, very well. guys are enjoying this I'm gonna have to try to roll over it oh gosh look at that spider oh yeah now I gotta find where this other hole is gonna come out so I had to have Delena push the wire for me so See if I can get you guys. There it is, there. Just cut it. Okay. I'm gonna go back over here. And grab this gas line. And pull it back over here. And I'm gonna try to fish it up to her, so we're gonna see how this works. Hope you guys can see this and I hope it works more I hope that you guys can see it because even if it doesn't work all right I'm trying to come up will you see if you can grab it pull that copper out yeah. Can you see that line down there? Can you see it? Can you see it? Hold on. Hey, Delena. Huh? What? Hold on.
Hey, look at that. Can you pull any more? All right. We did it, people. Okay, so one thing I really hate about being underneath here, you always got to kind of strain your neck up or sideways or whatever. So every time I work underneath here, my neck has a kink in it for at least two or three days. It just feels like I did like some kind of neck exercise or something. It's, it's pretty crazy, but we got it done uh without delena i would not have been able to fish that line up so teamwork makes the dream work okay well i am done with the gas line it is ran and i have a shut off valve right there so and that's pretty much where it's going to go we're going to have the propane heater on this wall we've changed uh, where we're going to put the wood burning stove and it's going to go right back here on this wall behind me once all that sheetrock's gone we're going to build the little platform and put the wood uh burning stove which i kind of unpacked a little bit there um it's going to be nice but um yeah it's been an adventure been underneath the house been working in the house uh i appreciate you guys for sticking with me and I hope you guys gained something, even if it was just a chuckle about me being underneath the camper, or, or not the camper, but the house. I, I really don't enjoy it, but at the same time, somebody's gotta do it, and the best part about it for me is when I'm done with it. So, until next time, this is Kenny with The Healing Homestead. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're building our home, building our farm. There's gonna be plenty of excitement left to come. So until next time, keep overcoming, do some hard stuff and enjoy the rewards of it. We'll catch you guys on the next one.